Don't shoot me. Choice of weaponry. Water guns, they're a popular summer pastime with kids, but now police say thugs are taking those toys and turning them into deadly weapons. Good evening. I'm Monty Torres. And I'm Anna Laurel. Thank you for joining us. Police say they found one of those sinister guns over the weekend near Barton in Nevada in southeast Fresno. KMPH News reporter Ashley Ritchie has more on why children's toys are the new weapon to watch out for on Fresno streets. You know, these are all pictures of guns that have been seized by patrol officers. Among the 100 guns confiscated in southeast Fresno over the last three months, Sergeant Mark Hudson says this one certainly stands out. It's dangerous for those officers being out on the street to see something like this, obviously. Fresno police tell me Randy Smith was walking in this area of Barton in Nevada on Saturday, and he was holding a super soaker water gun like this. He had it on a sling around his neck. Now, normally officers might not think much of this, but they had just been briefed about people converting toys like this into shotguns. So they stopped Randy and sure enough, instead of having water inside his gun, he had a real shotgun shell. What happened is he took the super soaker apart, uh, was able to fashion a barrel uh, to where he was able to make uh, what's considered a zip gun where you can fire one round through it. And in this case, it was a 20 gauge shotgun shell. Basically with a hand drill and some plumbing pipe, you're done. Bill Mayfield with Gilmay Gun says it doesn't take a gunsmith to make something like this, but it's definitely not a smart move. The firearm's cartridge and with the gunpowder is an explosive, and the device that they're building has to be able to contain the pressure of that explosion. And so they're just relying on, well, maybe this will hold up. Well, you could be putting a gun next to your head, or you could putting, be putting a hand grenade next to your head. 54-year-old Randy Smith faces a laundry list of charges, including being a convicted felon in possession of ammunition, felon in possession of a firearm, manufacture of an illegal weapon, and a misdemeanor warrant. The cops on the streets face their own new challenges. Something different every day, and certainly this person was up to no good. He was out there with this, you know, what would have seemed to, you know, the uneducated person to be a child's toy, whereas these officers were now confronted with a shotgun. Reporting in Southeast Fresno, Ashley Ritchie, KMPH News. Fresno police tell KMPH News Randy Smith has been in and out of prison since 1994. He was released from the Fresno County Jail the day after he was arrested.